Well, a local author will soon be releasing their very first children's book. Yeah, the message, it's okay to be different and that you are never alone. Action News photojournalist Todd Haas takes us to Drexel Hill for the story. My little me is full of panic. And my little me can be very dramatic. I always felt different and kind of isolated from other kids. And my little me hates having her hair brushed. My name is Nikki Reinhold. I'm an autistic author. Um, my new kids book is called My Little Me. It's about this father or mother, uh, you know, narrating about their child uh, and how they're different, but they also see themselves in it too. My little me has a difficult time choosing and my little me finds a lot in this world confusing. I kind of had the idea of writing a story about my daughter so that I could read it to my daughter. And when I read it to her, there was just this moment of silence and then she hugged me and said, I love you. And it just meant a lot. My little me is different and so am I. Sometimes people may not wear those titles. They, they might not say, you know, I'm autistic, but they might feel different, and I think this will uh, connect with them. Currently, the book is on Kickstarter. It's over 75% funded right now. It's been amazing to see the support that's already there. There are a lot of people that relate to this message, and I wish I had that when I was younger. I, I wish I had that kind of community. I wish I, that I knew I wasn't alone. There is a community out there. There are people that feel like you. There are people who are having a tough time getting through the day. My little me, when I get frustrated or raise my voice at you, it's not because I don't love you, my little me, but they're out there and they're like you and you're gonna get through it. But because I'm different too. I am. Like, she Alicia's just said, are you tears. crying? I'm like, are you crying? That's so beautiful. It is beautiful. You know, I'm lucky. I, I was a theater kid growing up, and it was always a really warm and encouraging environment where everyone was, you know, a little yeah. bit unique. So yeah. I also grew up in a house where, you know, my mom, her mother would always say, make space for everyone. And that's what I always try and tell my daughter. So I love what he's saying here. I love it's this so nice. book. I, you know, it's funny because I've been having a lot of, like, deep discussions with my kids this yeah. week, and my son's like, Mom, I have a lot of big feelings. And I'm Aww. like, I'm sorry. Like, okay, let's talk about it. So this would be a great book to kind of read to them. And Absolutely. So anybody watching out there, if you feel like you're alone, you know what? You're not. So yeah. it's nice to embrace that. I think that book really helps. Yeah. With that. We're going to send you a big hug. Do, yes, a big virtual hug. In the meantime, I'm going to do the weather. But what do we say? We take a little moment of zen mm. while I prepare for that. It feels right, right yeah. at this moment. A look at the sunrise over Center City. Isn't that gorgeous? It's gorgeous. Breathtaking.